Their ceilings would be an awful lot of sad stories, and no one's to do it. And there are thousands missing. Does anybody care? We build a channel where we talk about those faces. Talking news. Daddy. Hello everyone, welcome to Chasing a Murder Talking News. Before we get started, subscribe, hit the like button, and also hit the notification bell if you want notifications. Today I'm doing a little bit of a catch up along with adding a new missing woman to our girls. Unfortunately, we have, they're just growing. The numbers are growing and it's disappointing. So a lot of my stories are not on here, but I decided to take a step back from this Lori Vallow case because that one has worked me slap to death. They have answers, but in order for me to keep eyes on this channel, I have to have big stories to draw people in. And today I want to feature the girls that mean the most to me. And a lot of these stories were so small at the beginning when I first made videos, there was hardly any information on them and their information needs to be updated badly. Something that stands out big time is the fact that there are so many expectant mothers turning up missing. Pregnant women, beautiful, young, even mid-age women, glowing with beauty as you know, when we're pregnant with our kids, we're always told that that's when we're the most beautiful. Our hair grows the best. Our skin shines. And that's where most of our smiles come from. Look back in your photo albums and see if I'm telling the truth. Three beautiful mothers from different places are missing. And they all seem to have one thing in common. The father of their babies, they are not talking, they're not easy to locate, and they don't seem to care. Some of these cases are even suspended because they have no new um, evidence or tips coming in in order to keep it moving forward. In other words, they're turning cold. And at this point, when a case hits this part, you either have to have someone who is determined who, ha who has a lot of time to put into this one case, which is difficult with um, the amount of missing and homicides piling up as we speak, or to make contact with someone who has or knows something about the day that they disappeared. So a lot of people uh, were making a fuss about the Gabby Petito case and how it blew up. Well, guys, it's because there was evidence coming out one after another, and so it was unfolding quite quickly. And unfortunately, we're not having this happen with many, most of the cases. I mean, every case I have, and I have hundreds, that's not happening. So if you want to see a case move forward, share their story. That's my advice. Talk about them. Don't be one of those people that say, oh, this story is blowing up because of things that aren't true. No, it's up to us to make these stories matter. So I want to go ahead and get started with the new young lady by the name of Sharitha Morrison. There's a little bit of contradiction going on with this. And of course, this is a new story for me. So there may be a few mistakes I have to update later. But I always try my best not to have any 
uh, mistakes. So on February 26, 2021, Sharitha was last seen on a 6900 block of South Troop Street. And they believe that she was driving a silver 2006 Porsche. The license plate is BZ12712. After she was reported missing a few days later, March 1st, 2021, her vehicle was actually located at the 7400 block of North Winchester Avenue. And now Chicago police are looking for this missing pregnant woman. The story comes out of southwest side of Chicago. And today, the family is growing more worried with each day that goes by that they do not hear from her. And they believe that she could be in danger. So let's talk about what she was doing the day she went missing. So the last day that Sharitha was seen was she was, it was on a Friday and she was dropping off her four-year-old daughter at Earl Elementary School. So that's around the 2000 block of West 62nd Street. They believe at the time that she dropped her daughter off at school that day, she was about three to four months pregnant. And what really threw the red flags was the fact that she never picked up her daughter. This is nothing like her. So, um, and let me share this video. Her older son is begging for people to help him find his mother. This is very heartbreaking to actually watch. Please. Her son spoke to NBC5 and says he was supposed to meet up with her Friday morning, but she didn't answer her phone. My phone just went to the voicemail. Then he shares what is the most important fact. My mom don't leave my sister. He says his mother never leaves his sister. He is referring to the fact that his mother never shows up to pick his sister up after school. The vehicle that Sharita is driving belongs to the father of her baby, but she's the one that drives it. It's the last vehicle she is known to be in. Family members say that they drove out to where she was staying. Strangely, one of the relatives say that once they drove over there, they noticed that the doors to her house were open, but she wasn't anywhere to be found. Loved one said that they even searched the Rogers Park neighborhood after learning that her car was found. They put up flyers. They ask around, but they haven't found any new leads yet. So her car was found just a few days after she was reported missing. And the vehicle was found, it was on Monday morning or afternoon at the 7400 block in North Winchester Avenue. And since then, we have learned nothing new. So, if you live in this area, if you have relatives or friends that live in this area, make sure that she share the story, share her information. Maybe someone was able to um, see something and will be able to help with this case. So, next up is Kiara Coles, still missing. Another expecting mother. No clues, still kind of cold. Nothing new happening disappointing. Kiara Coles worked for the post office. She was young, she was beautiful, and she was expecting a new baby. In fact, three years ago, this 26-year-old who worked for the post office was eagerly awaiting this child to come into the world. That's according to her mother. But the parents of Kira Coles are lost, heartbroken, and continue to search for answers about their missing daughter. Kira was three months pregnant October 2nd, 2018, and she lived on the Chicago South Side. When they realize something was wrong, they report her missing. They see that her car stayed in the front of her apartment. And something that was really alarming was the fact that her phone 
was in this vehicle, and not only that, a packed lunch. A packed lunch that went untouched. No one ever returned to get this lunch. So, Kira Coles, it seems, never returned back to continue on her daily activity. Now, after Kiara Coles goes missing, and they know something's extremely wrong, they're able to recover one little piece of evidence, and that is a security camera. And on that footage, they see Kiara Cole walking across the street. But where is she heading? This is the last sighting that is known anyways of this young, beautiful 26-year-old, three months pregnant. One thing's for certain is Kira Cole's parents have been through hell. Her mother, Karen Phillips, says, the loss is unbearable. We went from seeing my child every day, if not seeing her, at least talking to her every day. Then, not to see her in three years. I try to stay strong for the other kids. I try not to really break down in front of them. But we talk about her all the time. We got pictures everywhere. We just really want her home. According to an ABC article, Kira Cole's mother, Karen Phillips, says having no answers as to what happened to her child is torturous. And to relate to her, at least try. All you have to do is look into your child's eyes and imagine that child not being able to be located for three years. No word, nothing. And as though not seeing your child isn't bad enough already, try trying to get in contact with police, the people that you trust in finding answers and not being able to get contact with them. For a mother, you don't give up. And then when you call the police and investigators and they're out to lunch or they don't return your phone calls, what does that say? And how would that make her feel? She said this past year that police have not provided her with any information. Karen said that she would reach out to them and quote, I could never reach nobody. They're gone to lunch. They'll call me back. They're out of the office. It's always something, end quote. So what is a mother to do in this situation? Well, she feels like her daughter's case might be going quiet. Well, she reaches out to the media. That's what she does. At the point where she's not getting any answers, she said, quote, they don't even reach out and say, well, Miss Phillips, we're still going through this, or we don't have any new leads. Just say something, end quote. Sometimes, though, when police are close to solving something, they get more quiet than ever. And this is the problem, is when she goes to media, she says she contacts them, but she's getting nothing. Or, if she was to talk to family members and say, look, this is what they told me, they said don't repeat it, and then the police chant ruining all this hard work. And I'm hoping in this case, for Kara Coles, that this silence means answers. Kara Cole's mother was not the only one that has gone through hell since Kara Cole has come missing, come up missing. Her father would sit outside her apartment in his car for weeks. And there's no doubt in my mind that Kira Cole was loved more than the moon and stars. And it must be devastating to have no answers. The family now has, I think it is, a $45,000 reward for any information or tips to help them solve this case or to locate Kiara Cole. And again, remember, guys, there's always a way to 
give information anonymously. If you know something, say something. Now, I'm just doing a brief overview of these stories. So, I hope that Kiara and her family are able to find some sort of peace. We have the holidays coming up, and it must be horrible each and every holiday because they don't have their loved one with them during the holidays. And on top of that, they don't even know what happened to her. Sending out my love and blessings to Kiara Cole's family. Next. Well, this story comes out of Florida, very close to home. Archer, Florida. Jasmine Robinson, also pregnant and missing. I looked for those very small, small stories. And at the time, there weren't that many YouTube channels really covering stories like I do on the missing or smaller stories. And I had to search really hard to find this one because it was really stuck in the darkness. You know, there's tons of stories like Jasmine Robinson. It's not just hers. It was, there's hundreds, literally. Because your internet is set up to suggest to you what you're interested in. So what you're doing every day on the internet and it kind of starts blocking out other options. So you have only the popular stories and then you have what you call the targeted information, which is specifically meant for you. For lack of better terms, I don't know how to explain it, but it's hard to find these stories. And I found her story through typing in the search engine several different things and just going through all the junk there was only one or two stories on her and it was very very small and at the time i could not locate her facebook i couldn't get up with her family and there was only one news source with um, audio and visuals with her grandmother holding um, a picture up of her granddaughter, Jasmine Robinson, who was missing. So unfortunately, I could only use the information I had, so it wasn't that great, and it still isn't. What I've learned about Jasmine Robinson is she is a very young girl. She's had some troubles in her life, but she is surrounded by a lot of people who love her. She uh, actually had posted a few distressing messages on Facebook before her Facebook abruptly ended, meaning she wasn't posting on Facebook anymore. In my first videos of Jasmine Robinson, she goes by a nickname I mark as Breezy, B-R-E-E-Z-Y. But it wasn't Breezy, this was a mistype from the article that I was getting information from, and she's known by BZ, B-E-E-Z-Y. So here are some of the last posts that Jasmine put on Facebook. She seems upset about something. Does anybody know who she's talking about? If you do contact the police, ASAP, Maybe this could be a tip or a clue. Maybe it could just be a bad day. But there's no doubt in my mind that someone knows something. So she was nearly seven months pregnant when she just turns up missing. So what happened on the last day that Jasmine was seen? It's February 18th, 2019. And this young pregnant mother is reported missing. She had talked to her sister on a video call that morning. But the next day, her aunt comes to pick her up, take her to a doctor's appointment, and she's just vanished. They find that she had left her toothbrush, her clothes, her money, 
most of the most important things behind if you were to run away. Her family become extremely concerned because this isn't like her. She's very close with her family and her friends hear from her all the time. But now that has all stopped. She has just disappeared, vanished in thin air. There was a lot of rumors start around this as to why she went missing, probably because it had something to do with the baby's father and a few other stories. There is nothing new and it's been several years now. But according to the Archer Police, detectives have continued to gather significant technical and forensic evidence. But we also know that there is a key, uh, key information that only certain people can provide. And this unique reward, which they're offering 8,000 at the time that they post this, is an opportunity just might it's the opportunity that just might encourage people to come and do the right thing. Detectives say they know that Jess, Jasmine left the home with someone else and that this person knows who that someone is. And maybe someone else may know who that someone is. And hopefully this reward money, which is quite a bit of money, guys, and you can do this anonymously. There's a hundred different ways that you can do this. You can even contact someone else to contact someone for you. It's crucial that people are able to do the right thing. And $8,000 is quite a bit of money. On the morning that Beezy goes missing... Her sister Shantavia says that she was visiting the nursing home, only to return home and never see her sister again. She was worried about her sister, and she's worried about her niece that her sister was carrying, which now would be over a year old. Shantavia talked to a news reporter and said, quote, we're strong. I still don't know how we're gonna, going about this. I just want my sister back. I want my niece back, end quote. It seems that they might have figured out where um, that last Facebook post suggesting that Jasmine was upset might have been stemmed towards. Anyways, it seems like that. Um, according to Jasmine Robinson's uh, sister, if I can spit it out, she says that Jasmine seemed upset that a man who Jasmine told are said to be the child's father have been contacting her constantly first through phone messages then calling her workplace and this all started shortly before Jasmine went missing the family actually speculates that Jasmine might have went somewhere with this guy because he seemed angry with her about having the child and possibly even several people involved are helping him to get rid of it but the family is definitely torn and lost as they continue to come upon the holidays and still have no answers and still not have their Jasmine home with them. I care a lot about Jasmine Robinson and I have pushed her story. And at the time that I was covering it, I really didn't have much information. So now there's a lot more information out on Jasmine Maybe someone out there can help give the information this family needs in order to find some type of closure. The family is looking for hope that she will return home okay. There's so many pregnant women out there that are disappearing and this is becoming, the numbers are just growing. These stories become quite regular and this is very shocking. I still say that there are to be a law where men who don't want the responsibility of raising a child or having it in their lives to where they can sign off on it and so opt out. Just as women can have an abortion, men should be able to do something like that and maybe could spare more lives. Because if you think about it, 
the deadbeat dads are kind of stuck in these situations and I believe that's why we're seeing more and more of women disappearing gosh it seems simple responsibility right be responsible and you won't have these situations but that's not how people work it's just sad to see so many of these stories piling up guys please don't go anywhere with anyone without letting somebody know who you're with and definitely don't drive off with the baby's father without someone knowing especially if you're having issues like this they seem to be having quite a few issues a lot of many times these relationships are actually developed in not so great ways no matter what there's just too many of these stories and i really had to throw this together quickly guys but i wanted to get this done and i wanted to update kiera cole's and jasmine and then also throw in a new story maybe you guys know something maybe you know somebody who does i love you guys don't forget to subscribe and like and i'll see you guys soon